السلام علیکم ڈاکٹر ارشد محمود ہیئر ان دس ویڈیو وی آر گوئنگ ٹو لرن ایک امپورٹنٹ کنسیپٹ فرام دا نیلسن ٹیکسٹ بک آف پیڈیٹک میڈیسن دیٹ از ہیپو تھائرڈزم اینڈ اٹ اٹس افیکٹس آن دا پیورٹی سو ہیپو تھائرڈزم انہیبٹس دا آن سیٹ آف پیورٹی اینڈ ڈیلے دا میسٹر پیریڈ کنورسلی سویئر پرائمری ہیپو تھائرڈزم مے لیڈ ٹو دا پری کوشس پیورٹی سو ٹو تھنگز آر ہیئر ون از دیٹ ڈیلیڈ پیورٹی in hypothyroidism and second is the precocious puberty again in hypothyroidism so both of these things ca- uh, how they are happening i will explain it uh, today so first is the hypothyroidism leading to the uh, delayed puberty how this happens hypothyroidism delays pubertal onset with increase in hypothalamic uh, gnih that is gonadotropin inhibiting hormone expression and decrease in circulating gonadotropins and estradiol level so hypothyroidism will lead to increase in gonadotropin inhibiting hormone that will lead to decrease gnrh and eventually the gonadotropin will be decrease and finally the gonads will not respond and the estrogen is not produced so in this way the uh, suppression of puberty will occur and pubertal delay will be seen Uh, this is also shown here in uh, graphic view uh, if normal thyroid hormones are present then these will inhibit the gnih that is gonadotropin inhibiting hormone so if it is inhibited then gnrh is normally produced and lhfsh are normally produced and gonadal hormone will be normally produced if there are no thyroid hormones then this inhibition will not occur and uh, the there will be increased level of gonadotropin inhibiting hormone that will inhibit all this gnrh and lh fsh and also the gonadal hormone so there will be delay in puberty now the second part is that uh, it uh, hypothyroidism also lead to precocious puberty how that happen now for that two things are necessary one is persistent hypothyroidism and second is profound hypothyroidism these two condition if present then it will occur in the form of precocious puberty so basic mechanism in this condition is that uh, long standing and untreated hypothyroidism can lead to precocious puberty which is due to uh, increased level of tsh now tsh uh, causes increased sensitive uh, sensitivity of uh, gonads to the gonadotropins as well as tsh also act as a gonadotropin to the gonad so it will also act uh, it will take over the function of gnrh it will stimulate the gonads that are ovaries or testes to produce the hormone so it will lead to the precocious puberty thank you